Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to discuss about the return and exchange in the sales module and how you can handle the different kind of return policies uh, like for example returning uh, returning an item from the customer that you sent wrongly or damaged or uh, exchanging that item with some new items or re-delivery uh, the same items to handle the partial credit and exchanges and we're gonna see everything right after this See that the someone order or may uh, you make a sales order for some item that is delivered to the particular customer but that customer find out that okay this item is uh, not good for him or it damaged or something then he want to create a return request which should be create a re-delivery or the replacement of item depend on the uh, depend on the customer request and for that you're going to create a return document of that particular item so uh, right now the return return request document is an optional document so we're gonna directly check the return request not the return request but the return document directly and the return, uh, return document is some looks some somehow similar to uh, the another marketing document with the uh, with the similar infos like delivery document and once you select a customer you can basically create or copy from the del delivery if some something so let's assume that you have created you created a sales order for this particular customer with HP printer. I hope we have some printer in yeah HP printer, and we can say that okay, 10, 10, uh, 10 quantity that we have wanna sell to that particular customer. We have created that. Let's make the deliveries for the future. That'd be really good. Thank you know. So you just created the sales sales document for uh, for this particular customer and that customer. Uh, you deliver the doc. Uh, you deliver the items. Yeah, we don't have the quantity of that particular item. I guess right now because it's already ordered. So we gonna and it's already committed so we cannot deliver that item so we're gonna make a good receipt let's say we're gonna make and go to the inventory and inventory transaction to make a good receipt of that particular item and let's say i'm gonna get the 50 quantity with the item price for euro and I'm gonna add that good receipt, so it will increase the quantity in of that particular item. And now we should able to add the delivery, and we send out this item you know, to our customer. But somehow the customer find out that the uh, that the the dam the delivery is damaged or the poor quality, and the customer returns the item to you. A return allow you to reverse the uh, effect of a delivery either partially or fully so you can you can make a return document when you copy this into the return document you can either create for 10 quantity or either for the five quantity as well when you create a return with the reference to the delivery note like this right it will reverse the stock transaction to return the item into the inventory so for example when you already uh, when you already deliver that item then you will see that in your stock quantity is 40 and when you create a return document right now then you will see that a return is created and it's closed immediately and the, the item will be received in your in your uh, stock again right so uh, why why would you need to use a return that would be a uh, that would be a generic question but for the legal uh, the good answer would be the for the legal reason you cannot change or delete the delivery and the customer invoices that have already been entered in the system right if you already created an invoice after the after the delivery document then you cannot uh, you cannot alter that as well like uh, because the del delivery document would be closed and you cannot add any new rows into that right so uh, that's why you have to uh, the you you need to create a document as a return or a AI, AI credit memo 
which will handle the whole transaction is smoothly so if a delivery document is written and uh, if, if if only the delivery document is there and there is no invoice AR invoice is created then you can create the written document but once the AR invoice is created then you cannot create a written document and instead of that you have to copy that your AR invoice into your AR credit memo that we're gonna see right now so for example you can just duplicate this right and you're gonna add this delivery and let's say I'm gonna add this delivery for the same customer and I send that uh, that order already but right now we can copy to the return right but I'm gonna make a AR invoice and I'm gonna create a AR invoice once you create a AR invoice it's gonna make a general entry as well into your uh, into uh, into your account and you're gonna see that okay this this amount is already uh, debited from from the customer so you're gonna receive your amount into uh, into your into your sales account right but now if you're gonna see you cannot create a return document directly from here so in that case either you have to create a return request or AR credit memo once you create the AR credit memo for the full item then it's gonna create a reverse entry in your stock so your stock will be the same as you can see but when you when you go to the AR credit memo and you open uh, the general entry then you will see that the same uh, the same entry happened with the negative uh, with the negative price so that you have to pay the 10 10 euro to the customer itself so that's how uh, when you create the AR credit memo then a negative a negative line will be inserted into the customer into the general entry that's how it's going to be visible into the AI credit memo because you cannot create the return document from the AI invoice so what happened basically when you create a return document is like for example we already saw that and like once you create the when once you create the delivery then it will be reduced the 10 quantity from your stock and when you create the return document then it will be add uh, the 10 quantity again into your stock bank but there would be a good idea like if you are maintaining the damaged goods into some different warehouse it would be really good Thus, so for example let's say i'm gonna create this uh, delivery i'm gonna duplicate this document again right and right now if you're gonna see here with the 50 quantity i'm gonna say okay the 10 quantity would be i'm sending to this customer and i'm gonna uh, use uh, the 12, 12 unit price right and i'm sending this one from our warehouse uh zero one and you're gonna you're gonna save that quantity as a delivery so if you see right here is like we have the 40 quantity but let's say you are you are maintaining a different warehouse for your damaged goods so it would be always a good idea to copy this delivery into your return document and you can change the warehouse we cannot see warehouse here so you can simply go to the form setting go to the table format and you can see whs E and you can enable that column and you can see the warehouse and you say okay when I'm return when I'm getting return from this item I want this one into the 02 warehouse and then you add this return document then your uh, your quantity would be hit again into the 50 your stock would be the 50 but it will be added into the second second warehouse it's a really good idea to uh, to separate your damaged goods from your real goods by maintaining the different warehouses into the return document now let's talk about the return request document and uh, as i told you that the return request document is an optional document but it can be very useful in the meaning of managing the whole return process it allows you to track the customer risk request and the, the, the another advantage of this is you can handle the item return at any point of the sales process because it can be created by copying either from delivery or the AI invoice right so uh, when when the customer contacts uh, contact us to return return the document return the item then we can use a return uh, return request document so for example let's say we created a delivery document right here and we manage we make a delivery we're gonna i'm gonna duplicate the same document and we created a delivery here and we know we want the unit price and we created a delivery document but when user contacted you you're gonna create a return request instead of return so when uh, uh, you can uh, you can create this one 
and the, the, you can create this and you can get any reference number from the customer as well and you can enter that uh, return material request number into into your uh, request number and you can add that document so right now when you create a return request is basically uh, changes nothing into into your stock like the, you haven't received any stock yet all right but it's gonna just indicate that that you are expecting some return from your customer so it might be useful in the business process like when you have to send out some special as special packaging to your customer to get the item back from them and in order to uh, they can uh, uh, so you may request that they can they print the return request document and include it into the return item and, and they can send it to you so once you receive the receive the return uh, document, then you can simply create a return doc uh, return request document. Then you can simply return, create a return document, and it's gonna uh, behave same as we already saw, and it's gonna add the inventory in your uh, in your uh, warehouse again back. The one thing that we have to note here is the customer uses the regular. Sometimes they can use the regular stock account for the return rather than the sales return account. And because they do not want to separate the items from the general stocks and they can you also use alert as we already saw like the different bin or different warehouse for returning the items so you have to manage you have to take care of that and you have to specify into your return request document in order to handle everything now the another scenario would be a re-delivery can be uh, can be another scenario that the user want to exchange that item and you have to create the re-delivery of that particular item so for example and uh, there is an option in the sap business one like when you create a sales order for example i have to check if i have something open we don't so i'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this document and create a sales order right and based on this document we're going to create a delivery node and we created a delivery node on this one and once we created a delivery delivery document uh, then there is an option like let's say when you want to uh, return that document when you want to create a return then there is an option into uh, into the SAP business one that the real delivery can be chosen by your user or it can be also set it uh, automatically. The one advantage is that the real delivery reduces the need for duplicate the sales order again and again that we just did, right? So you do not have to start everything from the scratch. You can simply reopen the same sales order. So for example, when we, when we created the delivery document, the sales order uh, is already get automatically closed right and the delivery document is open right now so there is an option into uh, into the administration system initialization document setting and you can select the sales order here and you have to select the reopen document when creating a return or good return credit memo based on the doc right and if you and if you check this one then you're going to get a message every time so for example when i'm going to update it and i haven't checked this one without user confirmation then then you will see a effect that when you create a written document right here you're going to get a message this one that do you want to reopen the item in the original order so when you say yes then it will reopen your sales order and you if you're going to see here your sales order is get reopened automatically but when you say uh, without user confirmation and that time when you're gonna uh, cre uh, create a return from from your delivery then it's gonna simply reopen uh, reopen the sales order without giving giving you any message so there would be a scenario let's say your sales order is already open right here and i'm gonna say i'm gonna go ahead and create one delivery document now and let's say you send the 10 printer to your uh, to your customer and your customer said okay only three printer is damaged so out of 10 we only want to return you three printer out of that so if you see in the quantity of the inventory inventory then uh, you already deliver the 10 item and you only want to create the, uh, the return of three items because the seven items are not damaged so if you're gonna go ahead and add the document then you will see that the return is already created for the three document and a sales order is open 
right so when you're gonna create you go ahead and create a delivery again then you it will see it will show you that only you know, the quantity of for three uh, item is there for the delivery and you will see as a uh, as here is like you have three three items that returned by the customer and the sales order is already get open only for the three quantity so if you want to see that quantity then you have to uh, right click in here go into the form setting and you have to select the uh, the delivered quantity and when you select this uh, this column and say okay then you will see that the seven quantity out of 10 and 10 is already delivered and you can only expect the three uh, the the three items to be delivered more and that's how you can handle uh, the partial delivery for that or the re-delivery uh, automatically and when you create the delivery document then you will see that the sales sales document is already get closed because seven was already delivered and now three again we deliver that document and the committed quantity will be changed again from here so that's how you can handle the partial order or the re-delivery of the particular item and you can also uh, reopen the sales order based on uh, based on the document of the written document and you can you can manage the whole uh, sales situation overall so that's it for my side uh, for the sales sales return and exchange and uh, if you have any question please comment down below uh, so and uh, thank you so much bye